morning. This is going to be the weekly reading for Gemini. And I did want to say um, real quick that if you're interested in a personal reading, um, I can give you um, ideas and tips um, as far as what is blocking you in areas of love and money, any type of abundance. Um, I can let you know what the cards are saying. Any type of spiritual guidance that comes through, I can help you um, really release any type of blocks that you have. And I will um, put the description in the description of the video my contact information. Um, personal readings right now are thirty dollars, so um, I just want to put that out there. And if you hear my dog, she's walking around on this hardwood floor and kind of shaking herself. I apologize. Um, I have two dogs. So the first message that we have is the High Priestess, Isis. And I have said this before, Gemini, but you are very, very um, spiritually awakened. You always have been. But this is ascending to a new level. Um, you are reaching this um, goddess, this Isis. You are reaching this mindset of really being connected to your higher self, your higher power, um, and spirit is recognizing this because to clarify that card you have the awakening card and so you are aligning more to your soul and you are on the right path and spirit wanted to let you know that um, and the way that you align more to your higher self is by being more and more authentic and so do not sugarcoat anything don't feel like you have to have the disease to please, um, to really um, put on fronts and fa facades for others. Don't hide your light. Don't hide who you truly are. This is going to be very important in really stepping into this role here as being authentic because you have more cards that actually say the same thing, the same message. So, like I said, the message that's coming through from Spirit is to be very, very... Um, authentic and real and that is how you align to your soul and basically anything that no longer resonates with you um, whether it be a job whether it be friends don't be afraid to walk away from situations that no longer resonate with you because once again this is letting you know as you kind of shed that conditioning and things that you've taken on this helps you to get more to the core of who you truly are um, because we have the Mother Creativity card. And once again, and, and it's going to be very important to align to your soul energy so that you attract situations that do resonate on a soul level. Um, when we incarnate here, we, we become conditioned by our parents, um, by societal norms. Um, a lot of times, like I said, we have to dim our light. Um... You know, we may be very connected to the spirit world when we're a child and we're told that's wrong, that's bad. And so, you know, we really tuck that away and we really try to fit in. That's the message that I'm getting with this. And by trying to fit in, um, we are not being our true selves. We're not honoring ourselves. And so you're going to want to use your soul energy on this uh, awakening process. And like I said, to do that, you need to strip away all, all of that junk that you took on trying to fit in with other people, trying to fit in in school, trying to fit in on jobs. Don't be afraid to speak your mind. And I'm not saying not be tactful. But, you know, if somebody says something and it doesn't resonate with you, don't be afraid to speak up. Really speak your truth. That message is coming through, too. Because to clarify that card, we have natural, authentic, real, and organic. So once again, this is becoming the spiritual being that you always have been. And being fearless. You know, if you lose people, oh well, then they weren't really for you. You know, if you tell somebody, hey, you know, um, I, I, I see spirits, you know, I communicate with the dead, or... Um, I talk to my spirit guides or my ancestors, you know, and they look at you like you're crazy. Who cares? Who cares? No, don't hide who you are from um, the world anymore. Really step into your power. And that involves being authentic and being natural and stripping off that mask you had to put on so that you can step into this ISIS energy. 
this high priestess or high priest if you're a masculine watching this. Child innocence. And once again, this goes back to that energy I was talking about. You know, and I've said this before. People say that parents have an unconditional love for their child. Um, parents are the most conditional love that there is. You know, and there's no judgment here because, you know, we do have to discipline our kids. But as a child, you learned that you have to seek the approval of your parents. And a lot of times this means really hiding who you are from them too. And then when you grow up, you know, you're always trying to find a mate, try to find a partner um, that you can seek their approval. You know, you need to earn love, but no, you don't need to earn love. You are love and you have love within you this whole time. You are love. So start within. Really start nurturing yourself. And once you start being art organic and being authentic, then you will align to your divine partner. Naturally, this happens naturally. You don't even have to do anything to attract that to you. It will happen naturally because you will be in the right vibration. Because the message that's coming through from spirit is when you hide who you truly are and you put on fronts and facades for other people, then guess what? You're going to attract more, uh, you're going to attract un other people who are not authentic. And by that vibration that you're in, let's say, for example, um, you pretend you're, you're a female, you pretend to like sports. You don't like sports, you know, you like the theater, you like nature, you like art, but you pretend to like sports so that you can attract a certain person. Well, then you get together and then like three, four months down the road, they get on your damn nerves because all they want to do is sit around the house and um, watch football and drink beer. And you know, you want to go out and you want to see plays, you want to go see a musical, um, you want to go to an art gallery, and here you've got somebody who you have nothing in common with, and that's why you keep attracting those type of situations. You're not being true to yourself. So that message has came through from Spirit. And to clarify that Child Innocence card, we have everything that you're asking for becomes yours in the summertime. Well, anyone that knows me knows that I don't believe that time exists. It's nothing but energy, and it's all about energetic alignment. I mean, this can happen right now. Let's say you, you know, all of a sudden you're like, wow, everything that she said is right. This is why I've attracted partners who I have nothing in common with. You know, a year down the road, we're together and we can't stand each other. And this is like my second or third marriage. And I don't know what's going on. This is why. So let's say you, you end that cycle and you clear that. And you become your authentic self. This can happen automatically. But with this summer card... The message that I am getting is that this summer is a great opportunity to really get out and get in touch with things that you enjoy doing. I know in the summertime, I love getting out and going to flea markets. Um, I love going to barbecues. I love spending time at the park. So really, um, this summer, really get in touch with things that you really enjoy doing. Because when you do that, you're going to meet other people who enjoy doing the same things. That message has came through. So don't dim your light or try to be somebody that you're not to attract somebody. Initiate. You know, it, do take the steps that you're guided to take. You know, if you are guided to um, talk to somebody or respond to somebody, this is your soul letting you know that you have met the right person. And this is going to happen. And I feel like you have been looking for love in all the wrong places. That's why it's so important to align to what you like to do so that you do attract somebody who has the same interests and hobbies as you do. And then do initiate. You know, if you're a man, I mean, I know that we women, we prefer that a man initiate contact. Okay? Um, this is just, I know I'm old-fashioned. And so I do, you know, really love it when a man initiates contact with me. So do take the steps that you're guided to take. And this message is for men and for women reading or watching this, any male or female Geminis. And understand... Um, we all have the masculine and feminine energy within us. A lot of times men don't like to hear that. 
but you can be a man and be more in your feminine energy and be a feminine, be more in your masculine energy. And that's all right. It's all about balancing getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I am showing that at least by summertime, that you're going to meet somebody who is going to resonate with you on a soul level once you reach this point of being natural and being organic. And do take your time. Don't rush things. Really spend time getting to know each other. A lot of times we get into, you know, I'll be 50 this year. And you know, we start panicking. Oh, wow, my biological clock is ticking. You know, if I'm going to meet my soulmate, my divine partner, my twin flame, I want to do that soon so that I have time to enjoy them. But time does not exist, okay? We have a whole eternity, if not this lifetime, the next lifetime. Because we've had many lives. We've had many, I call them timelines. People call them lives. So we have an eternity and, you know, you meet this person, you've known them before, you've had other experiences with them before and you'll have more. So there's plenty of time. You have an eternity. Slow down and really spend time getting to know each other on a soul level. And you do that by being natural, organic and real. We have the star and this is all about wishes coming true. Okay, so do set your intention and be very, very clear. Put your order into the universe. And the thing is, is that our souls naturally know what we want. We really, the, the law of attraction is always working. We don't have to do anything to make it work. All we have to do to, is to align to our soul and our soul energy and our soul does the work. I know there's times when, you know, because I work in sales and I'll have a slow day. And I'll be like, man, why? I'm just not making that much money today. What's going on? But my soul knew that I was tired and that I needed rest. And so I had, you know, I have to step back and be like, you know what? My soul knows even when I don't know. So the law of attraction is always working. And your soul knows exactly what type of partner you want. And your divine partner out there, believe me, your soul wants that as much as you do because you've been together before. And you're, you're together now, you just don't know it. Because there is no separation, there's only oneness. To clarify that card, we have have faith and hope because there's something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. So this is beautiful. This is what I was talking about. Um, you know, because a lot of times people don't realize when I say time doesn't exist, there are all these different timelines and existences and dimensions that are happening all at the same time. All you have to do to, to do is to align to it. And that can happen instantly. That doesn't have to happen this summer. That can happen instantly. But don't be in a waiting energy. Do make sure that you're fulfilling yourself and filling your own cup first because this is how you attract others. When you need nothing at all, that is when you attract everything. And that message came through. We have the Ace of Spheres. This is the same as the Pentacles. This is a physical energy and this is a fresh start. This is a brand new start. So the message that's coming through from spirit is that once you realize all these things that you've been doing, you've had the disease to please, you've been putting others ahead of yourself. And once you just kind of pull back your energy and really focus on yourself, you can have this fresh start. That's what I was saying. It can happen almost instantly because there are things that are coming in. It's just you have to align to them. man holding a heart. This could be a female holding a heart. This is your divine partner who's there. I mean, you're already together. You got to figure there are other timelines where you're already together. You just have to get there and you get there by being authentic. Otherwise you're going to keep attracting people who have nothing in common with you. People who, um, don't feed your soul. Because you've been so accommodating and you've lowered your standards. That message has came through too. Don't lower your standards to be with somebody. Make sure that you're always in this energy here. The high priestess, the high priest. Where you know your value. 
And you know, I, there's that meme that I saw on Facebook, know your value and add tax. So do make sure that you're always keeping your standards high and don't settle just because you're scared that your biological clock is ticking and that you're gonna be all alone. Because remember, you have plenty of time, so do get to know each other. Thoughts. The first thing that came through when I saw this was to be very, very uh, mindful of your thoughts right now and don't manifest what you don't want. I have been famous for this over the past week. I have been very anxious. I have been worried. And, you know, I have been coming from like a place of lack and scarcity. And you don't want that. Make sure that you're not focused on what you don't want. You know, I was thinking, you know, over the past couple days, man, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not making any money. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to lose this. I'm going to lose that. And then, you know what I told myself? I'm focused on what I don't want. So I'm going to start showing gratitude right now for the things that I do have. And I'm going to know that the universe always has my back. And that um, whatever is for me, I can't lose. I, I need to stop being scared to lose things. Because even if I do lose something, it's going to be replaced with something better. So why worry about it? So definitely make sure you're not focused on what you don't want. And do, you know, set your order, send your order into the universe. And like I said, your soul already knows this. But impress upon your subconscious, you know, what type of partner you would like. Okay, that way if someone comes through and, and, you know, they're offering you less than your value, less than your worth, you know they are not the one for you. And this is almost like that creativity card. That mother creativity. See how he's kind of creating in his mind what he wants? That's like creating the perfect partner. That's a synchronicity. That's that creativity. We are creating with our thoughts all the time family room when I get this card a lot of times I interpret it in different ways but I am interpreting this card as being a happy family a happy home life um, and it is coming because there are positive things coming in on the horizon that you can't yet see but you have to prepare yourself and do clear any type of negative thinking that you have right now we have the expectation card. Now, this message came through to me yesterday because I've always been told and I've been questioning everything I've been told from spiritual um, um, like groups and stuff like that and different things that I've learned. And I have been told that with the law of attraction, do not have expectations. Okay, well, yes, that's true in one way. Okay, in the way that, and I'm going to try to explain this. With the law of attraction, you need to get out of your way. And you need to not add too many details to it. Okay, let's say, you know, you want to manifest money. Well, don't sit back and try to add all your details to it. Like, okay, I want it to come. I want to, you know, get a raise at work or I want a better job. Because you know what? You might win the lottery. So... In that way, don't add too many details to it because you will limit the universe. So release expectations of how you feel like it should look. However, it is healthy to have healthy expectations as far uh, as how people treat you. Okay, do expect people to treat you with respect. Do expect people to um, return your energy that you put out. So do expect that and do have healthy boundaries with people. And this goes back to that knowing your value and adding tax to it and not settling. So in that way, expectations are healthy. So I had to, you know, kind of clarify that card. But Gemini, this is your weekly reading and do step into this ISIS energy. Definitely do. And, and becoming empowered means being your authentic self and letting your light shine. 
that might be the tagline for this video. <laughs> but I, in the uh, description of the video, I will add um, my contact information if you would like to have a personal reading. Thank you.